Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel. In our previous videos, uh, we, we uh, created uh, a SharePoint server subscription form. Microsoft has uh, released the latest version of its SharePoint that is SharePoint server subscription edition. And uh, we have configured it in our previous videos. I will uh, uh, define the link in the description box as well so that the users who haven't uh, seen that video can quickly go to that video and see how we can install the SharePoint Server Subscription Edition. For that purpose, we are using the operating system that is 2022, that is uh, Windows Server 2022 Core Edition. And uh, for that purpose, that is our, uh, you can say that uh, this is our Windows Server 2022 Data Center Edition, and uh, we, we are using this server as an operating system. And on that operating system, we have installed the SharePoint Server Subscription Edition. In this video, we will see that uh, how the SharePoint uh, 2022 Server Subscription Edition Central Administration looked like and what are the changes. So this is the interface of SharePoint's uh, Server Subscription Edition and if we go into the uh, application management that is uh, almost same as that it was introduced in the previous version of that is SharePoint 2019. Here you can uh, navigate to different controls, you can create the web application, you can uh, create site collections, you can manage all your site collections here. Similarly, you can uh, configure different type of services here. You can uh, manage the content database here. Uh, there is uh, right now there is only one content database that will be a default database. If I click here, this is the default database that is uh, actually the actually managing all the content of the central administration on which we are logging. For creating web applications, you it is recommended that you create a separate uh, content database or it uh, while creating the web application, it also gives you an option of creating the uh, new content database because it's always recommended that you create a separate databases for separate web applications as well as site collections. I already have a compiler video, a detailed video on this topic because it's a very important topic for SharePoint administrators to understand. Uh, uh, you can go to my channel and you can quickly search uh, that video in SharePoint general topics that is available in my channel. So uh, if we go again into the talking about central administration, there is different type of monitoring here. And uh, you know, these are different types of jobs. There is no change uh, of uh, that SharePoint has done in it's almost same that was of SharePoint 2019. You know there are different types of jobs that SharePoint application server run at backend. It uh, different it checks these things. These things are important, and uh, these various types of jobs are configured by default. You can also change their schedule or you can even disable these jobs so uh, these are the job definitions and similarly you can go into the security microsoft has uh, enhanced the security standards in uh, its latest uh, sharepoint server subscription edition i have also mentioned uh, covered a detail video upon this thing so it uh, it has also introduced a feature that was of managed certificates here you can create different types of certificates for trust relationships and for HTTPS bindings as well similarly there are uh, different types of general application settings and uh, system settings in system settings you can manage servers here I have only two servers the first one is the database server that is CRM database and the second one is SP2022 app in which I have installed the role of single server farm in which all of these services are running. Single server farm is not recommended in a uh, production environment where you are actually uh, implementing it for your organization uh, needs. 
but for development environment you can configure single server farm but in uh, your production environment where there is uh, actual data and there are actual users of your uh, of your company or organizations that are using this uh, SharePoint application so it's always recommended to create a, a server farm with dedicated roles okay I also have covered a video on this topic it's a very important topic for SharePoint administrators to understand so if you are a new user you are uh, my new subscriber or you are a new visitor I uh, recommend you I uh, advise you to go to my channel and see that video as well because it's a very important video for SharePoint administrators to understand so it's all about the concepts if you have better concepts of designing your SharePoint sites then you can become a good administrator so uh, by uh, I have covered I always try to mention my practical experiences so that you can get uh, advantage from that practical scenarios because practical scenarios actually give you more lesson of uh, that are not commonly available or in the books or on the internet so uh, this is uh, a small server farm and uh, if I go back there are different type of services in this farm some one are uh, by default enabled and some are to be enabled one more one important thing that SharePoint Microsoft has done it has include uh, distributed cache as an integral part of the package till SharePoint 2019 this distributed cache was not a part of uh, not it was not even an integral part of uh, SharePoint package rather it was uh, required to be it was dependent on uh, one of the prerequisite that was Windows Server App Fabric service so that prereq was required to be installed on the Windows Server before installation of SharePoint so thanks to Microsoft that in latest version it has uh, eliminated that dependency of distributed cache on uh, the you know windows uh, app fabric it's now included in the package and uh, this has uh, what is the advantage actually uh, when the distributed cache was dependent upon windows server app fabric it used to give many type of issues microsoft uh, or, or in the past if you if we see Microsoft uh, frequently introduced different types of uh, cumulative updates and hot fixes to uh, counter the uh, anomalies that were in uh, bugs and uh, security vulnerability that were found in uh, Windows app fabric service so now what Microsoft has done it has merged that service so distributed cache is running independently it's now not dependent upon the windows server app fabric so thanks to microsoft for making the life uh, more easier okay now if we go into manage farm features there are different type of features here almost these are same features as that were uh, used in uh, previous versions or use uh, if you have worked upon the previous versions so um, backup and restore that simple and uh, there are some upgrade and migration things and manage app catalogs so uh, in my upcoming videos i'm going to cover all of them uh, in detail so uh, this was about uh, the introduction of sharepoint server subscription audition central administration so uh, if you uh, broadly look at uh, all of these features then uh, it's quite clear that you will see that there's no difference uh, it seems that there is no difference between SharePoint server subscription edition and the previous version that was SharePoint 2019 but that's not the fact there are much differences I'm going to cover each of them uh, in detail in my upcoming videos so guys who are new visitors I request you to subscribe my channel and those who are my subscriber I hope so that you are continuously watching these videos and uh, 
I am always uh, excited whenever my subscriber uh, praise me or uh, if he asks any query that gives me an immense player to uh, my viewers are uh, understanding my videos they are uh, watching my videos carefully so I thank you all for watching this video as well and uh, continue enjoying more videos I thank you all